Hey guys, happy Friday. It's a great, beautiful day out. I just wanted a couple of things to remind you guys of. You know, don't curse the darkness light a candle. Instead of complaining about those hours of work you're working or those two or three jobs you have, thank God you have those jobs so you can provide for your families. Instead of complaining about sleeping on somebody's couch at night, praise God that you actually have a couch to sleep on, that you have a place to sleep. Don't curse the darkness light a candle like my father-in-law taught me. You know, don't complain about the things that you don't have. Thank God for the things that you do have. And stop trying to do God's job. God doesn't need help doing his job. God doesn't need help have making revenge on somebody that did you wrong or didn't do right by you or thinking about the people that don't take care of you properly or aren't nice to you. Let God do what God's supposed to do. But the thing is, you gotta focus on doing the right things in life. You know, go to work, take care of your family, pay those bills on time, take care of yourself. If you do by God the right things and you make the right choices, God is going to bless you. It's going to happen for you. You're gonna get that promotion. You're going to get that new job. You're gonna get that house. You're gonna get that car. You're going to be okay. But you have to trust God and you have to let him do his job. But he's also not going to just help you if you're sitting on the couch every day talking about how you want a job or talking about how you want to change your life. But you also have to think positive. Stop cursing the darkness. You've got to light a candle. Start thanking God for what you have. Start thanking him for every day that you get to wake up because there are some people that don't get that. They fall asleep and they don't wake up. Who knows? You don't know. Tomorrow is not promised to anybody. But all we can do is rejoice for the day that we have. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Have a wonderful day, guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend.